I didn't know this came in manual. Oh, this one. Mm, six oh, speed. Yeah, it's six speed. Oh. I hope you don't mind me recording it. Ah, nice. <laughs> I think I'm way too deep into this now and I'm getting scared and I just had to pull out my camera and be like in case anything goes wrong <laughs> I know where everything is I'm just trying to put some oil in this thing and I really don't know how but I saw a video where I think you have to unscrew everything and then you put the oil just like in between so that it goes straight into the motor and I just want to preserve the life of this thing because everything needs to be serviced to be honest, I'm scared now because I don't really know where to, to put the oil in. Um, I'm getting some confidence in that I'm seeing these tiny holes um, right there. Well, I think that might be to pass oil into the motor, but I'm not really sure. I think let me just search up a YouTube video and I think I'll get more information because I don't want to destroy this. And I've read somewhere. Please use lubrication on motor shaft and bush one time per month. Motor life is longer. So yeah, I really want, I really to, want to make sure that this <laughs> fan lasts long because uh, yeah, it's pretty hot. And not only that, um, I don't know who's been watching the vlogs this long. Uh, you remember I was in Indola and this used to be my granddad's fan. So I'm just like, you know, I want to preserve it. I want it to last long for me just to keep seeing it and be like, yeah, I can keep things long. YouTube can be very resourceful when you need it and when you want to know something like right now all the videos I was seeing were rather trashy because they weren't really giving me the information that I needed but I just found one and I had to give that video like so literally it's always annoying when you have to switch between your back and front camera when vlogging but yeah I think the video I watched they just put like some lubricant just in the middle of this um, I'm not sure how that will help because okay to be honest right now i don't even know which is the motor but i think this is like the overall motor but and this should be the shaft yeah <laughs> please leave a comment if you know better but yeah so i'm attempt i'm going to attempt just to put some oil in here. yeah because yes yeah i can already see some oil there so i think that's a good sign isn't it uh that's a very good sign To be honest, this shouldn't be scary, but it kind of is a uh, moment of truth. I know it obviously won't blow up, but uh, it's just scary. Yeah. <laughs> I just hope it's done the job. I hope it's it's lubricated. Yeah. A weird story, which I think most of you have never heard me talk about. But right here, right here was where... I was in an accident with the red vids. If you've been watching my vlog for long, I'm sure you know the red vids, or maybe you've seen it in one of my videos. Yeah, right here is where it all happened, and yeah, I think I actually have accident traumas from that situation. I kind of always wanted to make a vlog about the accident, but I thought it's just something that I shouldn't have done. But yeah, it's it's something really bad, and I I did actually make a vlog about my second accident, which was. Uh, in another bit, ironically, yeah. And I feel like I developed to trauma from accidents because, you know, literally these days it's like, if I'm not being driven, I'm just so anxious. I'm like, what if the brakes fell? Like in my second accident, well, literally the brakes fell and, you know, we just went and slammed into another car. Uh, okay, obviously it was a situation we could have avoided somehow. But yeah, you know, I just have that trauma where like if someone else is driving, I'm just so scared. You know, if they're driving really fast, I'm like, please slow down, what if this happens? And for a guy who likes going fast, that's just like something crazy, you know? Uh, I think, wow, I was just walking right now. I was honestly also thinking like, maybe it's a video that I need to make on just accident trauma and how it actually affects us, you know? So in my face, I wasn't expecting that. I don't know if I can zoom in or zoom out. Some of the things that make me want to vlog these days is so really unexpected. Like, um, 
I'm just about to wow, how do I even retake this? <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, like literally, I'm about to go study. Okay, now this is bad. I'm about to go study, but the way I've just set up everything so that when I start studying and everything, it's just so crazy. And I'm like, hey, I need to vlog this. Because some of the things that are making me really want to vlog these days is just so I think I don't know if you can call them petty, but yeah, I like working out. So I'm about to go work out, but I love it that when I come back and work out. I just come straight into the studying, but the way I'm setting up everything is just the craziest thing. I don't really know how to retake my phone. I'm using my front camera, so like I've set up my Bible, I've set up my book to read, and then just a notebook that I have where I write things that I need to do, work, uh, study, and any other thing. And I've just set up the site that I usually use for studying and everything. And I'm just like, boy, why am I this organized? But yo, I hope you guys are okay. Uh, I really haven't picked up the camera in a long time. And it so feels weird, but so feels good at the same time. Because I know I'm talking to you guys.